The Google Translate extension can help you translate and read more words as you're learning a new language. To start, you'll need to click on the app launcher in your Chrome book or go to the Chrome Web Store. Once you're in the Chrome Web Store, you'll want to select the Elgonize D icon on the left side. These are the Chrome extensions and apps that can be installed by a student. You'll want to select the Google Translate icon. If it's not available or easily seen, you can always do a search for it. Once selecting the Google Translate icon, you want to let it launch and then click Add to Chrome. Add the extension by clicking Add Extension button, and it will install in your Google Chrome profile. Now, by going to places like Time for Kids and loading an article, you now have the ability by clicking on the Google Translate extension to do things like you can translate the entire page. And you can choose what language you want it to be translated to. There are multiple languages here. We're going to translate this into Spanish. Give it a second, and it translates the page for you. You can always go back to the original. If you only have one single word that you might need to translate, like javelin, you can select the word, right click, and click Google Translate, and it'll translate for you, bringing up a new page. This is also a possibility when you use some online textbooks like HMH and other users. So for instance, I'm here in my HMH book. I'm going to open up the William Holly story to read. Now, the book comes in English, but words that are not images, the title page is an image, but when you get into the text, the words themselves can be translated. Again, clicking on the gray puzzle piece, going down to Google Translate, click on Translate This Page. You can then choose the language and it'll translate the page for you. Go on to the next page. And again, you may need to go ahead and translate the page again. So that is the Google Translate Chrome extension.